Let's evaluate this integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 by 1 plus sine x dx. We can write it as integral 0 to pi by 2 as it is. We can multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine x. So we have multiplied numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine x. And so we can write it as integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 minus sine x, divided by 1 minus sine square x. Once again, we can write 1 minus sine square is just cos square x. We have written 1 minus sine square x is cos square x. Rest on, let's copy as it is. Now let's break this uh, in, into partial fraction. 1 by cos square x can be written as sec square x minus sine x by cos square x can be written as sine by cos is 10 and 1 by cos is sec. Now, integral of sec square x is 10x, and integral of sec x into 10x is sec x. However, if we put the limit pi by 2 here, 10, 90 degrees, undefined, so we have a problem. What is the mistake that we have made? Let's see. We have given integral 1 by 1 plus sine x and 1 by 1 plus sine x that is a continuous function so we should be able to integrate it. However, in the next step we are multiplying numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine x. The problem is sine 90 degrees 1 so if you put 90 degree here it is 0 by 0 form so we are not able to get the answer. However, it is still correct that integral of 1 by 1 plus sine x dx equal to 10x minus sec x. And that can be written as sine x, oh, of course, some constant of integration, sine x minus 1 divided by cos x, again, plus some constant of integration, and that can be written as minus of 1 minus sine x by cos x, and that is equal to minus of sine x by 2 minus cos x by 2 whole thing square divided by cos square x by 2 minus sine square x by 2 plus some constant. Let's write it in the next line. And that is equal to minus of, uh, we can cancel cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. Or well, let's further simplify and then cancel. Cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. 
whole thing is square divided by you apply the formula a square minus b square and write it as a plus b into a minus b so cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole thing into cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 again plus some constant and integration and you cancel uh, cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 to get minus of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2. So, integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by 1 plus sin x dx equal to minus of well we can multiply by minus throughout so sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 whole thing divided by sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 of course we have limit from 0 to pi by 2 we have limit from 0 to pi by 2 let's put that oh cos 90 degree is 0 sin 90 degrees 1 again sin 90 eh, sorry if you put x equal to pi by 2 you will have sin 45 degree that is 1 by root 2 here minus cos 45 degree that is also 1 by root 2 here divided by sin 45 degree 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus let's put the lower limit sin 0 degree is 0 cos 0 degree is 1 divided by sin 0 degree is 0 cos 0 degree is 1 now that's equal to 0 minus uh, minus of minus 1 so that's equal to plus 1 and we have an answer so uh, what mistake did we make earlier? We made a mistake of multiplying by 1 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x. However, your indefinite integral, the answer remains correct. 10x minus integral of 1 minus sin x divide uh, 1 by 1 minus sin x dx equal to 10x minus sec x. But if we put x equal to pi by 2 here, you will have problem. So let's cancel something. And you observe that integral is just equal to sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 divided by sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2. And let's put, it, put the limit and you get the answer.